Alrighty, you guys, I'm taking a little break um, from work, a very quick little break, to um, check out this trailer. The reason that it caught my eye was not because Adam Driver's in it, not because John Hamm's in it, because neither of those guys appeal to me at all. There's really nothing about the stuff that they're in that just compels me to watch it because they're not really that... They're not very, they're not very interesting to watch acting. To me, they're kind of dull, boring. I mean, they might be perfectly fine people in real life, but they just don't spark any interest in me at all. But Michael C. Hall is in this, and I like Michael C. Hall. I have ever since Dexter, so I'm going to check this out and see what the heck it's about. So let's go. It was my second day of grad school. Next day, I changed all my classes to national security. Oh, Amazon, Morning, okay. Morning, Senator. Have you seen the story today in the New York Times? Evidently, the CIA destroyed tapes of interrogations of Al-Qaeda detainees. I want to find out what was on the tapes, why they were destroyed. No paper. Paper is a way of getting people in trouble at our place. At our place, papers. Is this going to be a series or a movie? Last night I found this. He's detaining number 24. Have you guys used this thing before? No. We watched the video. They waterboarded him 183 times. Everything they got from him was either a lie or something they already had. If it works, why do you need to do it 183 times? Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. Oh, based on true story, okay. With the narrative here. The United States does not torture. Dan, you need to be careful here. They can't destroy the document. They can go after the next best thing. You. They claim they saved lives, but what they really did was make it impossible to prosecute a mass murderer. Because if what we did to him ever came out in the court of law, the case is over. The guy planned 9-11. We will not allow this to be covered the up. The intent is to gain intel, save American lives. History is written by the victors. We need... I like how they're doing that. They're like redacting their names. From the Democracy is messy. If the Times had your report, we would print it tomorrow. No. If it's going to come out, it's going to come out the right way. The torture report. Oh, it is coming into select theaters. It's not just coming to, to Prime. So this is interesting. I'm not generally um, really into... I mean, sometimes they're all right, but I'm not generally drawn to political intrigue type stuff. I mean, I get annoyed enough already about politics and everything and just the whole stuff about 9-11. Um, nowadays, it's not something that I generally like to return to because that was such a horrible, horrible time. It still feels very, very fresh to me. I will never forget how I felt that day and how completely angry I was. And then it just feels like, you know, it, sometimes it feels like life, especially life here in the U.S., is broken down into before 9-11 and after 9-11. And it feels like in a lot of ways, things after 9-11 have just taken such a, a, a very negative, awful turn. It's And it's not necessarily something that I generally like to return to because I just get mad all over again. And I don't like to watch stuff that makes me mad. I mean, I watch stuff and stuff might irritate me or annoy me, but I don't necessarily want to go to something that I know is going to piss me off. So for one reason or another. So, you know, I'm not sure if this is something that I will be, that I'll feel compelled to watch. I know already that it's something that if I watch it, I have to pay attention to it. I can't just play it in the background and have one eye and one ear on it while I'm working. Well, half an eyeball and half an ear because I have to dedicate my eyes and ears to the work that I do. So, you know, this is not one of those things that I can have on and I can still follow the narrative by, uh, you know, glances up at the screen every now and again. I have to pay attention. So I don't know, but I'm glad that it is 
you know, to know that it's on Amazon, so whenever I want to see it, it will be right there. I won't have to go hunting for it. I know exactly where it is. So yeah, um, the trailer was just under two minutes, and it seemed okay. I, it didn't feel like it was a two-minute trailer, to be honest. Um, I think because I was just kind of um, absorbed in watching the narrative unfold and paying attention or maybe just the way it was put together it didn't feel draggy at all to me and it didn't necessarily feel like I can't really say feel like it gave away too much because we already know now the entire premise of this movie so you know we know it's based on 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 uh, real events so we sort of already know where that's headed so I, it's not like it gave everything away. It's not like there's these big plot twists that they shouldn't reveal to us yet because we kind of already going to know just based on the material, the subject matter. So anyway, you know, I, I, I really don't have many complaints about the trailer in itself, the way it was constructed, the length and everything like that. But um, as far as the story, I, I don't know. I think this is one of those things where I have to be in the right frame of mind to watch it, especially because I know how it's going to impact me. So yeah, if I watch it, I'll return here and make a comment about it, my thoughts or whatever. But I, I don't know, at this point, this is one of those, eh, I don't know. So that's all I got for that. Anyway, uh, about time to get back to work, you guys. Later. Bye. <laughs>